<laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to this edition of Urban Air Gunner. Can you guess which two knickknacks I put in the cabinet? If you found them, leave a comment down below and tell me what they are. <laughs> so you saw me unbox this Iraqi. Now let's set it up. Let me show you what I'm gonna do to it today. This is my Zeraki right here. This is the Ultra version and 22 caliber. From what I've seen online, this gun has incredible accuracy. Extreme accuracy at 10 yards, very, very good accuracy at 20 yards. And this has a unique front sight where you can actually adjust from 10 to 20 yards by simply flipping the sight around. Let me show you right here. So this is the setup for 10 yards. And if you push the sight backwards, that's the sight for 20 yards. There's no red dot on this sight. And if you just use your fingernail, 10 yards, 20 yards. The problem is when you try and put a scope on the Zeraki, the Picatinny rail system on top only has one groove. So this is kind of only meant for a red dot sight, even though it's accurate enough to put a scope on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark where I need my rear slot on the Picatinny rail to be and gently file it in. And hopefully it works. I can't see what'll go wrong. I've got two files. I've got this file right here, which is a triangle file, and I'm just gonna use this to initially score my groove across and make sure it's nice and straight, sharp, and cut it in. Then I have a circle file. I'm going to use this to actually make the groove. It's not gonna be a square groove because on my scope rings, it's a circle bolt. So you don't need a square one, you just need a circle one. So I'm just going to make the minimal amount of cut that's gonna be necessary to attach this. And this is the scope I'll be using. It is a UTG 3 to 9 bug buster scope with the half mil dot reticle. Very awesome. And I think it'll give me the best accuracy out of this gun. I've gone ahead and put the front scope mount on it. I'm gonna pop back one on and just see where I need to align everything, make my groove. The best way I can figure to do this is I've got some white nail polish and what I'm going to do is brush a little bit on to this rear tightening screw, put it on top of the gun and then it should transfer a little bit right where I need uh, to make my groove. Now guys, be careful using polish. My four year old niece came in one day, paint my nails, paint my nails. And I'm like, sure, I can paint your nails. How hard can that be? Grab this bottle of polish. Thought, ah, that's a weird, cool looking color. I'll just paint your nails like this. Didn't realize that this was also a bottle of polish. I just thought this was a purple top. I unscrewed this, lifted it up, and spilled purple nail polish all over my camouflage pants. It was a horrible, horrible loss that day. My favorite pants. But I'm hoping for some better results today. So, back to it. should be enough. Set that out of the way. Looks pretty perfect to me. All right, we got some success. I'm gonna let that dry just for a little bit and then score in my mark. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a little Q-tip and some nail polish remover and see if I can't get that off. And it took about literally two, two, three seconds to clean that polish off with um, some Q-tip and some nail polish remover really quick. All right, guys, we're almost done. Let me just file my groove in here, put the scope on, see how it works. All right, here's a moment of truth.
going real slow at first just to wear my groove in. And it's in now. If you hit metal, you have gone too far. Too far. Don't hit metal. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it right there, see if it fits. Clean all this up here. And that's what I've done so far. Just a real shallow groove. Let me see if that'll clip in. I think I need to go just a bit further. I'm gonna take it right down to the angle right there. And this file is really, really good. It's taken a lot off at a time. Like I said, when you've hit metal, you've gone too far. That would be the barrel you'd be filing into at that point. If you had a square file, you know, you could, or even a flat file like this, you could, you could make a perfect Picatinny rail slap up. I thought this would be easier because it's curved just like my screw is curved, so it should actually fit perfect with taking less material out. So that is what I have so far. It's not as deep or as aggressive as that one is, but I think it's more than enough to do the job uh, without taking too much off these all into a little pile and some of the shavings there from the gun <laughs> got the gun got the scope will it fit all right guys so it fits and like you can see like I said before the smallest amount of clearance ever it won't fit with the front sight post into the 10 yard mark you have to have it in the 20 yard position and I'm going to even see if I can't push the scope forward just a bit more and see if that can't give me just the smallest amount of clearance I mean I can see air just like it's touching but they aren't like pressurized like touching with pressure or any force so I think that'll be just fine I'm very happy with how it turned out. Normally when I do things like this, I end up completely destroying it and you know, then I have to go get a new one and start all over again. But I learned from my mistakes this time, it went fairly easy and simple. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is take the scope completely back off because I don't want it on there for right now. So let me take it off. I will show you why. So I got it off here. 
The Zeraki pistols come with a test target. I have not fired the pistol. The most I've done with it is like half cocked it and pulled the trigger like five times. So believe me when I say I haven't fired the thing, I have not fired the thing. The Zeraki pistols come with a test target. Five shots. So this guy got one, two, three, four, and then five right there. And then they put a little tiny dot in the center. They give you all the uh, the sighting or the sighters where you know it hit X and Y and all this stuff. Five shots at 177 meters per second. I did the math, that's 580 feet per second. That is three pumps. I'm surprised it had this accuracy shooting this pellet. On here it says it's using Crossman pointed pellets right there. So what I did is I went out and I bought a brand new thing of Crossman pointed. The very first shots I'm going to take, I want to directly compete with this guy, this, this test. Someone shot this. And I'm gonna assume that guy shoots these guns all day, every day. That's his job, he is the target guy. And I wanna see if I can't take the very first five shots and get just as good as he did, if not maybe beat him. That's why I haven't shot the gun yet. That's why I'm waiting for the wind to go down. I'm gonna go out, take five shots at 10 meters. That's what I'm hoping to beat. What I am going to do is I'm going to go online and print a 10 meter pistol target and that's what I'll shoot at. My very first shots, my very first five shots, I wanna see what I can, I can do compared to this guy. I don't know, maybe I can beat him, maybe I can't, but it'll be fun to see. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.